so we simply destroy them. Pop! All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. The main event here. Uh, today we're going to be doing something a little bit differently. Um, if you want to just jump ahead to the battle, there will be timestamp below, so feel free to do so. Otherwise, um, I'm going to be going over a little bit of how I upgrade someone's like team. Uh, so remember, I was telling you guys, if I, if you're a member, you submit a team, I will happily try to improve the team for you. Um, so we had one of our members, the Urban Ranger, shout out to them, uh, send me this team, this exact team. I'm not going to show the details of all the changes I made. This is the original concept they sent me, um, cause I didn't really ask them to like share the team. Um, but they did send me a rental to use. So I'm not going to share all the details, but I'll share some of the things I did change. So you can get like a little idea of the process. Um, question of the day, would Surge Surfer be too strong on psychic terrain? Because you know, Surge Surfer only works on electric terrain. So you can't like take advantage of that plus E-Force. Might be too strong, maybe not. Right two stats are not that great. So first thing I wanted to do was to make sure that I didn't just destroy the whole team, remove the spirit of the team itself, right? So I didn't want to just like take away all the minds and say, oh, right two's bad, let's not use it. This is bad, let's not use it. So the first thing I identified was the weaknesses of the team. Um, one of the weaknesses of the team, in my opinion, was that it just hard loses to redirection plus Gambit, redirection plus Dango, and it kind of had really bad issues with like Corviknight, for example, right? Um, so some of the ways that I changed that. So this is the incinerator they had originally. This is a um, fine incinerator spread, in my opinion. This is a very valuable incinerator spread, but it's very bulky. Um, and the team itself, right, doesn't really like support Mascarada much because Mascarada, even after Intimidate, still not taking hits very well, and it's Sash anyway um lowland right you right not that bulky as it stands um murkrow uh, is plenty bulky which can take advantage but like murkrow plus incin don't really work together right that that well um the blood moon has, has bulk obviously so it can work with the incin but the team just didn't feel that cohesive so i felt like one it didn't take advantage of the tailwind but one it was lo it was losing to steel types plus redirection and two it didn't take advantage of the tailwind enough so some of the changes I made, I changed instant speed stat. Let's say I changed it to make it more um, valuable under Tailwind. I changed the uh, the nature to take more advantage of the attack stat. And I changed the, I'll say I changed that into Mirror Herbs. That way you don't just auto lose to King Gambit plus Electabuzz. Um, a Gambit plus like, um, plus Magmar is to be difficult, but like, I think this gives you a much better option. Like I changed it to Mirror Herb. Uh, I changed the Terra type as well um to not be fire <laughs> i changed it to a more of a defensive terror type um so now you can like knock out uh no not bulky go dangles for example now he can knock out gambits because he takes the plus one so that's one of the changes i made so now the murkrow and Insin doesn't feel like a troll leap because Insin has speed on it take advantage of the tailwind and it has offenses to actually do damage while still maintaining a lot of bulk so that's what i did the Insin. i also changed the murkrow's terror i'm pretty sure they also meant to change it but i changed it to like obviously you know you guys know terror ghost is the best murkrow terror so i changed the terror on the murkrow uh, so that you can like use it uh without being like faked out if you need to um but it's so bulky that you always have to worry about it so like yeah not a troll lead um the earth luna i mostly changed the spread i also was considering changing the terror to ghost but i think fairy is kind of fine um because if you're gonna have psychic terrain you can't always reliably use vacuum wave anyway um and moonblast gives you a nice solid stab single target option that's a little bit stronger than earth power with if you terror fairy not quite as strong as Blood Moon, but more spammable in a sense. Um, and obviously, Hyper Force is spread. But if you need to do big damage into a single target um, and you don't have access to your uh, to your Blood Moon, it's even stronger than single target Hyper Force if you're Terra. So I guess Moonblast is kind of like fine, right? Um, I changed the spread because the speed was is nice and all, but the only thing this really matters for is Dragon Ball. So I lowered some of the speed points. Um, actually, no, what I did was I actually took a Brady Smith spread um, because I took uh brady smith's uh i have access to i have brady smith's rental um for our Ursula team that he used so i used one of brady smith's spreads one of brady smith's spreads and i tweaked it just a little bit because um it was like a little bit like awkward in certain spots so i changed it to make it more efficient um at least for this team i would say so i changed the speed i made it uh, much stronger because this 64 timid i did some calcs and like if you click like for example blood moon into like a sneezler or whatever like if it's a terror so it's not like super effective earth power you don't even kill um like you don't even bring it down to like sash all the time with this so that's that's just that just wasn't going to work at all so we changed that to make it a little bit stronger um the right shoe we uh i liked how the right shoe kind of just function on its own like, i was thinking about making it like bulkier but that didn't feel like necessary because you kind of just want to go fast and do damage and if you're worried about the bulk you can just kind of redirect um so like I just changed the terror type because I feel like if you're leading this, you should like be spamming expanding force. 
and I, I I feel comfortable saying I changed into Psyche because if you see Raichu, you're probably expecting Psyche anyway. Like getting off one big expanding force with Stellar and then not getting the same damage next turn feels really bad. So I changed that. I adjust the EVs on this a little bit to take more advantage of the Psychic Seed so that you can take more special like hits. I think we get a chance to see that in the battles as well. Um, adjusting the EVs a little bit just so it could like work out. And again, because you have Psychic, I think it just makes sense for uh, the Indian DD can also kind of work in Tailwind. So like Indeedy, Murkrow, Raichu, Alola is not like totally like useless as a trio because Indeedy has Psychic, so it does good damage. Raichu obviously does great damage. And Masquerada, I thought about changing the Masquerada to like a like band or something, but I kind of left it mostly alone because I thought that I think overgrowing to Grass Terror is really strong. Um, Protein is nice, but it's a little bit hard to play when you're just trying to catch up with like battling um, until you get more experience. So I think like Sash is a good is a good item to practice with before you become comfortable with items like Choice Band. Plus having the Sash, um, the AV and the Instant here, plus like Redirection gives you ways to play around awkward matches, right? Because you have the Sash, you have the Redirection, you have the Intimidate to support the Luna. So I think it gives you options to play around that stuff. So yeah, that's some of the stuff I did for the team. Like I said, I'm not going to just post it. If he wants to post the paste that I sent him, um, he's happy to do so in the comments below. Otherwise, uh, thank you guys for being here. If you are interested in this uh, service, become a member. Um, send me a team. Send me your membership. Let me know who you are. Uh, and I'll do that for you. Otherwise, thank you guys for being here. Thank you guys for listening to me rant. And I'll see you guys in the first match. Okay, so the first thing I see here is I can't just lead to side spam mode because they have Tailwind plus Gold Bango. So instantly lets me know I need to lead something like Ursula Luna. I could also lead my own Incineroar. And that's not the end of the world. Um, I could lead Tailwind myself. If they're like specs make it rain, I kind of need to worry about that though, right? So I think it's going to be Murkrow. I know Murkrow instant feels a bit shaky, but I promise that it's a uh, I promise that the way I help change this stuff will actually make sense. This, this, this. And if they have their own terrain, I could bring the right shoe in the end, like for like Thunderbolt stuff. Um, Is Miascarada just better? Once I clear out, maybe. All right, I'm gonna bring the Miascarada here. This is exactly what I was worried about. <laughs> this is exactly what I was worried about. Here's the funny thing. We will kill that thing in one hit. Um, let me check their team. They have no real switch into Flare Blitz besides Garchomp. Um, I'm going to Tailwind. I'm still going to knock off though, because I don't want to Flare Blitz right now. I'm going to Flare Blitz. Maybe I get a burn and Garchomp switches it, right? Yeah. Oh, wait, what? Oh, you're not. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Um, let's, let's, let's just get tricky. I'm going to tear grass and I'm just going to blitz. I don't need to tear anything else, right? Nah, I don't need anything else. Uh, I can't do this because of, um, can I do this? Because of nine tails. Knocked off. Um, There we go. That's what I want to do. Merkel's going to leave. I wanted to party shot the chomp, but I don't think I need to do that because now that you put your, um, now that you put your, your guard chomp on the field, you have no real switch into flare blitz. So like so anything that comes in is going to take at least half.
any that comes in gonna take at least half. Yeah, so that takes half. Rockside will do Bup Kiss. I'm gonna triple Axel here. I'm gonna flip this here. I don't think they're gonna um terrestrialize for whatever reason. It's very difficult for them to click terrestrialization here in front of the Mascarada. So I'm just gonna take the damage if I can get it. And then I always have um that's a choice. Who is this? Good switch. I don't know if that's the right play though. Yeah, what is this, 154? What is this, 162? Then stab? All right. You can't terrestrialize both your Pokemon, though. How many turns of, turns of Tailwind do I have? They have three, I have one. And they're not Specs. Actually, I don't mind getting knocked out because I'm going to bring in my... um. Incineroar has to come out, though, because I need to... Uh... Has to, I need to be able to intimidate their uh, physical attackers. They have Sneasler and they have Garchomp, right? So intimidate still has value here. Maybe the Garchomp's clear aiming it, but like, if it is, it is, right? Because now we pick up this knockout really easily. I don't know how much that crit mattered. It depends on their bulk, but I don't know how much that crit mattered. It's like Miascarada, right? It's not that weak. Metal Coat. So they're pretty offensive. So they probably are still Terra Steel. So this person's in a great spot because now I can get Tailwind back up and outlast their Tailwind. Because Tailwind is over, right? Yes. I'm going to Flower Trick here. Because that way I can get the Incineroar in and the, um, what's it call it in? The, uh, the Incineroar in and the Blood Moon in together. I can like fake out something and then just go on the offensive. And they spend a turn protecting on the fake out that they waste their last turn or tail one at that time. But this should be two and the next one should be one. They were just gonna give me the Garchomp. Oh, that's weird. Are they just terror ground? Is that the issue? Murkrow should take this uh, rock slide. Very bulky. It's Dragon Claw. We should definitely take. No, we don't. They're life orb. Did I miss life orb earlier? Let me see. Nope, he's just strong as heck. All right. Um, swap in, place you on the right, and place you on the left because you're bigger. You're going to be in the way of the camera. <laughs> I got to keep that in mind. <laughs> he's in the way of the camera. This should be their last one. Oh, just hyper voice. Um, you're the bigger threat. And then if you pop that Terra Steel on that, um, if it's, oh, it could be Terra Ghost. Should I have cover for that? No, we should live. They're minus one. Doesn't matter. They're both minus one. Wait, they're both minus one. A guard champ has never protected, has it? Is he banded? Is that a terror steal? Okay, perfect. Because you're locked into Dragon Claw. That's why you killed. I thought I don't know why I didn't notice that. I didn't pick up that it never protected. We take that. Take that every day of the week. 
but it's still Dragon Claw. And Tindal die. It will not because I'm the GOAT. Because <laughs> I'm the GOAT. <laughs> Now our Ensign, so we both should outspeed actually. So just to be safe though, I'm going to click uh, Hybrid Voice will pick up that for sure. Um, I don't need the chip either. I'm gonna Earth Power. No. Because Ensign will take less recoil, so maybe it'll survive. This is why we change the speed EVs. This is why we change the speed EV, so we take advantage of Tailwind. We wasn't taking advantage of Tailwind before. Now we take advantage of Tailwind. Ensign still faints, which is fine. But I just don't want to. I don't want to give them a situation where they could like scam the um the Blood Moon, and then Garchon cleans us up later. So yeah, this will just die. <laughs> it just dies. GG's will play to my opponent. Shout out to shout out to us for for navigating that as well. On to the next battle. Okay, so we are playing against Rain. I really just want to lead the Raichu and just blow stuff up low key, but um, it depends on what they like lead, right? In order for me to be able to do that. The Semioska Rada. Um. I'm low key gonna go with this. And then I'm gonna, I know it looks weird. And then Tailwind to be out speeding stuff. And then is it Miyasuka Rada or is it Ursa Luna? I think it's Miyasuka Rada because they have the Basket Legion. This feels really weak though. <laughs> Cause I can't hit their Chaladon. All right, let's think about this for a sec. It's probably something more along the lines of like this. Um, the incinerizer switch in for like the Ndidi and then this to clean up everything at the end. Let's try this out. Interesting. This is a this is a lead for sure. This is the, the the easiest trick room of my life. <laughs> Low key. This I know the only the only way this backfires is they click Dragon Darts plus uh Weather Ball into Indeedy. Only way this backfires because then both darts are going to need DD and then Weather Ball plus that might kill. But if they're banded, if they're banded, I'm um, Dragonite. I'm um, Dragapult. But I think they just want to do something weird like darts and like Weather Ball into my Blood Moon. Or like Tailwind or something and U turn. Like I think they want to just. I don't think they play. And the worst possible outcome is not to play that I think they're going for, pretty much is what I'm saying. You can't really risk the Terra, the, the, the um, you can't really risk the uh, Terra Fairy and Didi. A Chalodon, so let's see if they're sturdy or if they're um, stamina. Oh no, this is not gonna do it. They are stamina. Now I can like redirect. I could also just click psychic and try to kill that, right? 
And I'm AV, so I take anything that our child out and puts out at neutral. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And if they pop their terror, they pop their terror, right? Because they'll still take damage from Earth Power. And then Blood Moon will just kill them from whatever range they're remaining at, most likely. Especially if I helping hand. Is it Terra Grass? Is it Terra Flying? If it's Terra Flying, it can be annoying. I wanted to just make the read so hard. Terra Bug? That's fine. I'm not worried about that. It's the same as Terra Grass. Yeah, that's plenty chip damage. Pop. So that dies. Pretty didn't matter. Um. If they click Electro Shot, we eat that up into either slot, to be honest. Eat that right up. I want to click Moonblast so bad, so bad, like so, so bad. Trick Room turns three, turns a second screen, also three. I could be cheeky, but I'm not going to. Um, <laughs> Make sure I know what I picked here. Yeah, I'm just going to redirect. I want to be cheeky with my terrain turns, but I'm not going to play that way. Basically, what I was thinking is that I could switch out the Indian to Insin. I could try to kill the um, Basket Legion. And then I could uh, take another hit from this thing or like maybe they go into the Insin, whatever. But and to have an end game where it's in DD plus uh, Raichu. But it's just really, really difficult to pull that off. This will not KO us. See, this is why you add the spadef. death. Because now you have to double up. And now you're cooked. And you already popped Terra. Game's over now. <laughs> Game's over. Game is over. Because you can't beat Instant anymore. You can't beat Instant anymore. You can't Aqua Jet me or anything. You have no switches in the knockoff because you have two ghost types and hyper voice always picks up your Archaladon. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> you are pinned. Oh, I see a little spot. Well, there we go. Can't be having that. I wish they would take their turn though. There we go. And then Master Legion, I'm so sorry. You have to die. I love Basket Legion too. It's one of my favorite like Hisui Mons. For sure. I kinda like a lot of the Hisui Mons. I like Basket Legion. I like Hisui and Arcanine. I like uh Ursaluna. Uh who else is from Hisui? Sneezer is a if you would. Um Hisui and Bravery is not bad. Hisui and Decidua is, is kinda cool, but like and this guy's gonna forfeit by the way. Um, oh, let's see if he lets me moon blast him. Let's see if he lets me moon blast him. You let me click moon blast. Let's go. <laughs> he let me click the blast. <laughs> um, decision wise, another toss up because triple arrows is stupid and it kind of makes me dislike it a little bit. Let's be thankful that triple arrows are stuck on the suing this is why I not like on a real Pokemon though, right? That'd be really terrible. Okay, I am back. I say that because my first two battles were recorded like hours ago this morning and now I'm recording these ones in the uh, later afternoon. But anyway, uh, how do they deal with like my Pokemon? Um, How do they deal with my Pokemon?
I don't want to lead this because they have the gambit. Actually, let's play it and let's, let's be funny. Um, no, we're not going to be that funny. I don't think. We're just going to lead the Ursaluna. This, we'll have this. And then we'll go Master Rider with Triple Axel. All right, so they led their coaching stuff. No, no, that's not what I want. Um, I'm, I, I, Terra Fairies is safe, so I'm just gonna um, Earth Power here. And then Brave Bird on that side. I just want to get rid of that Sneezer as soon as possible. No time for scams. I'm sorry. We ain't got no time for scams. And like, what are you gonna do? Like, Protect Coaching feels like their obvious play or Protect plus Kowtow. Or even CC, right? <laughs> I like Terra Ghost on Ursula Luna, but like I think Terra Fairy just does work. It makes a lot of sense. Purely because um they unless you get around stuff like this, right? Like the, the King Gambit with its dark moves would be really threatening to a ghost right now, but Fairy lets you get around both. Um yeah, you're weak to poison, but Diaclaw is not as strong as close combat, obviously. Um Kowtow Cleave from Gambit is way stronger than Diaclaw from Sneasler. That is not gonna help you. Like, yeah, you have plus two, but like, what does that do for you, actually? Especially because I'm going to just haze it away. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Rillaboom. Who did I bring the back? Male Skirata? I'll swap it in for now just to, like, save the, the turn. I'll try to haze. Actually, no, I don't want to do that. I don't need that. I can just beat this what I have in the back. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to Moonblast you in case you go for Terra Dark. I feel like that feels all right. I low-key feel like that's kind of what you want to do here. Ah, oh, he crit me. I kind of have what I need here, right? So I'm going to save Ursa Luna, bring in the Sin, get my plus one. I'm going to tail it in case they're a fast boom so I can just outspeed and kill it. You can have your plus one because I will take more advantage of it. Give me the boost, give me the boost. I'm a bad man. Give me the boost, give me the boost. <laughs> one uh, one like, one heart on your comment if you understand the way that reference is from. <laughs> Ooh, look at you, Terra Fairy. But now you can get Blood Moon. Mm. Uh oh. He's Miracle Seed. He's. There's no way. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Fiendin. Fiendin. And I'm going to haze it away the same way. Actually, I'm just going to fake you out. And then I'm going to haze it. <laughs> I could have just hazed the one after Rillaboom same way, but like fake out just works. You get no boost. I don't care if I don't get a plus one then. You're not getting a plus three. We're not ever letting that happen. You guys have watched my videos. You know what plus three does. Oh no, my Murkrow.
but that really boom being chipped my flip is loki still should just knock out depending on if they're max hp or not we'll see see how much this blood moon does they just gave me both damage for free really boom dies we take a lot of recoil but like getting the really boom off the field is nice so we already got rid of the sneezler and we'll do so much damage to this gambit that like i think we're okay good damage good damage good damage <laughs> yo they're so greedy that's their third source dance this game son That's the third source dance this game, dog. I'm gonna knock off here because I wanna um, get rid of the Avi Light and then I'll hyper voice. You can click Sucker Punch if you want. That's not gonna kill me at plus two. What did you protect for? Oh, they think Tailwind is the reason I'm faster than them. They think Tailwind is the reason. No, 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 no. That's not the reason. I'll take the health back too. You're putting me further out of range of your suckers. Not even sucker plus, um, what you call it will get me. Also, this means I'm now free to blitz this spot. So you still have to click follow me. So you can't even like overheat and sucker. You can't even do both. They're thinking, cause they're like, dang, he has hyper voice. What am I gonna do? You're gonna lose. <laughs> but I understand protecting that turn because you don't really have any other options. So you have to, you have to play it in a way that your gambit will be faster than my blood moon. I don't like that play at all. Oh no. You thought that was gonna do damage. That is no damage. How dare you burn me? This is gonna kill. So I don't even actually get a chance to um, hyper voice it. I think they spent too many turns clicking Swords Dance. Like, you got nothing out of those boosts, right? Cause I kept hazing them away. And then when I finally got, when you finally got rid of the Murkrow, it was too late because your um, Gambit was in front of two Mons that can't hurt at only at plus two it needs and you're not even terra dark right so you're not getting that boost so you're probably also not black glasses um let's just end this but yeah so i think they spent too many time too many turns trying to i take back any kind of words i said about like them playing to their outs and stuff or any kind of words i was going to say you guys know how i feel the game is over do not click protect when the game is over because you're just wasting both of our times <laughs> Like there's nothing that this grants you, right? And if you click protect again, I'm gonna I'm I'm say something worse. I know you're trying, we're trying to get me into burn range. Stupid of I like that crack, that crap out of here. I'm messing up my good vibes <laughs> with that nonsense, man. Get him out of here. GG's will play to me. Ah, right, you see, they're using the wolf team. Um, so I have to lead the follow me. I have to lead Incineroar. I kind of don't have a choice here, actually. Does it have to be that? Can they read? Oh, they can redirect me. No, they can redirect me. So it has to be. It has to be these two. Um, I think this is also fine. And then I'm going to bring the Alolan Raichu, I think. Just because I 
want to. <laughs> That's kind of the only reason, because I kind of just want to. I don't think it's the best mine here, but I'm going to bring it. So I can like redirect all their stuff, right? Clear amulet. I don't really care about that. It's the, they have no guard, right? And they want to have the, so here's the thing. They have to decide who I kill. I can kill this Golark right now. Quiet as this kept. They could tear a fighting punch me. Who do I kill you guys? They really got to get trick room. I'm gonna go after this. No terror. Okay, so that's a dead bronze on. This is why I changed the incense EVs. <laughs> the whole strategy just dies now. Dynamic punch? Yeah, that's fine. That doesn't that doesn't even kill. That's totally okay. I'm okay with that. I wasn't sure if I wanted to flare blitz or if I wanted to knock off. But they would have given me either one. Uh oh, Clefable. I don't really need anything else now, right? Um, I'll go for it. If they give it to me, they give it to me. If they don't, they don't. Because I basically want to make sure that I um. That's fine. Knocking off whatever they're foolish. If it's a barrier or something, I'll 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 be happy with this turn. I just need a Cinderella to kind of just die. All right, this dynamic punch, dynamic punch, dynamic punch, dynamic punch. No, I didn't want that. I didn't want dynamic punch. I want, I mean, I didn't want, I didn't want it to indeed. I need you to kill the incineroar. <laughs> Let me get this right. You in with turns of terrain left. All right. Maybe this is moon blasting, right? And not life doing or nothing. Cause you, ha you have no damage on you. If I didn't want intent to go down, I'd be very angry right now that he hit himself twice a confusion. It's time. <clears throat> the last battle of the match, uh, potentially. But I'm going to be able to do what I've been waiting to do. I got rid of the only resist. The thing on the right is terror fighting. The thing on the left is whatever the terror is. I don't care. Helping hand. Terror psychic. Right you. It's only timid, so it's choice specs. I mean, it's, ch it's choice. It's only timid, but it's still choice specs. Um. So let's see how much damage this does. <laughs> it's our time. It's Raichu's time. Come on, Indeedy. Come on, Indeedy. Don't be like Incineroar. Good job. And no terrestrialization from their side. So we simply destroy them. Pop. Let's go. I'm playing that for the internet. Right, you got a chance. <laughs> oh no, it's Lapras. It's Lapras. They will simply forfeit. Don't forfeit. Oh, they let me kill. Thank them. Shout out to them. <laughs> they gave me get two right two clips. Let's go. <laughs> we just said it in the last match. Stop clicking protect when the game is over.
You know what? Now I'm gonna play with them. They want to play games. Now I'm gonna play with them. Now I'm gonna play around on them if they want to play games. If they want to play games, go ahead. Whatever, dude. I don't even care though. I actually don't care. I actually do not care. <laughs> I actually do not care. I'm gonna blood moon just to get like more damage down, but like just to just to avoid any too much free shenanigans. But like I got froze in a practice battle with this team earlier and like I was actually like annoyed as heck. This won't play out. That's fine. And he landed sheer cold. <laughs> but you see, <laughs> you activated my trap card. <laughs> Psychic terrain. <laughs> I can click Thunderbolt right now, but no. You get to see the terrestrialization animation again. I changed it from Stella to Psychic for this very reason. So we could just spam this. And they better not forfeit now, because you could have forfeited a turn ago. Yo. You are lame as heck for that dog. Roberto, that's corny, son. So yeah, that, that was the team. You know, that was how it functioned. Um, Once again, I will leave it up to uh, the Urban Ranger to leave uh, Red Tool and or Pace in the comments uh, if they choose to. But yeah, like I said, made some changes to the squad for them because they are a member and they submitted the team as a service offered. I can do it for you if you want to do that as well. But like I said, this is for uh, the members, a premium perk for them. Went a little bit extra for Urban because they've been a member for a while, but I'm still not going to like half ass. I can say ass at the end of the video. I'm not going to half ass yours if you send me one because you just became a member, right? And that's not what this is about. I genuinely want to try to improve you guys' teams. And I feel like based on the battles we got, we made the team function a little bit better, right? Um, this is the original version because like I said, this is no longer what is there. Um, but I changed like a lot of this stuff. Uh, I changed a lot of this stuff. Trust me. Um, and I probably went over that in the intro, but anyway, thank you guys for being here. Uh, become a member. If you like this service or if you want to contribute towards bonus content, um, click like for your boy, subscribe if you are new and I see you guys in the next video. Peace.